All right, guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. Today's a crappy day because we are going to clean up the pastures a little bit. You know, worms are always a problem in moist climates. Ours is one of them. So to help combat that and defeat the wormage, we're going to go ahead and play with some manure. So anyway, stick with us. And also we have another little surprise that's going on that just started today. <laughs> Time to do the manure, and this is the tool we're gonna use. We borrowed this from our friend Steve. He was kind enough to remind me that I should mow my manure, and this is what we're using. So a lot of people are gonna use these like, uh, I tried using, gosh, garden rake before, and that was okay. Um, it bounced around a lot. I don't know if it really did what it was supposed to do, but it kind of worked. Um, other people use drag harrows, and they just teeth on these chain mesh mail that go around outside. I don't know that I really cared for that because I've got some stumps and I'm afraid something's going to get caught and I, I, you know, me just being paranoid, I guess. I don't know. But Steve had this great idea that he learned from somebody else, I guess. Just chain link fence. So um, we're going to give this a shot. You just go up here to the top and you put a chain on there and you hook it up to the truck and you just drive around. Now you can do this on a tractor, you can do it on ATV, a side by side, whatever you want to do. but. Uh, I'm just gonna use a truck because I don't have all those other things except the tractor. So anyway, let's get this sucker loaded and then we'll drive out to the pasture and see how this works. Oh, for being chain link, this is a little heavier than I thought. There's two pallets. Yeah, there are two pallets on it. Okay. Let's move that water jug. All right, that's what we got, Steve. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna drive it gingerly and slow. We'll grab the chain, take down the water cooler, and let's go out and play with the buffalo and see how they're gonna do. Good old Bart talk. How are you doing, dude? Mary's checking it out. Oh, Mary's sniffing around on it. Yeah, yeah she is. All right. <clears throat> So we thought to maybe do this area, but we're not, because I don't think we'll go through that other gate. I'm not sure how wide his chain link fence is. So we're gonna go outside and do that first. Everybody thinks we've got cubes. They're all coming up. Kisses, girlfriend. <laughs> she looks pretty. Gosh darn it, she looks pretty, doesn't she? Her coat is crazy good. I love that coat. Anyway, come on ladies, come on. All right, let's see if we can get going with this. In amongst the buffalo. Perfectly safe. Fear not, my friends. Just checking. Oh, here comes Debbie. Bartok, Ahmed. Hey guys. This is a little close. Nice. We just keep coming. I know guys, come on. You're gonna freak everybody out online, you know that? All right, how do I keep wasting all this extra chain? And wrap it around the yeah. Okay, but we need to lift this up. That it's lifted, actually. Well, let's stop wasting our chain. I know, I just wasted it all. I know it is. Ah. Okay, you gotta move your legs. 
today. No rapid. Well, that may be all we get, Steve. I feel like we're getting flanked here. Kisses, girlfriend, come on. Ahmed's head is huge, guys. It's huge. These guys have been sparring, actually. I'll get into that some other video, but I got some video, I think, of it. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> some of these are pretty dry, so they're not gonna break up as easy. But, it's doing a good job. like guys without it taking a beating. Huh. Look at all of our little curious friends over here. Ah, thank you, honey. All right, everyone wants to know what we're doing. All right, I think we're all set again. So you can kind of see the difference. Where we are and where we've been, where we need to go. <laughs> Slow motion, huh? turning like wait where are you going where are you going where are you going lady so oh here comes bar talk Woo. <laughs> hey, Megan! <laughs> Woo! Where are you guys going? Driving around their pasture. Sure is getting them excited. <laughs> Hi, 92. It's like we're running with the buffalo. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, 
know how long they're gonna stay frisky. All right, that's our third pass here. Ah. Looking good. I think they're giving up on us. Oh, there's one. Feisty. Well, the drag hair is working really great. <laughs> I'm sure he's getting everybody feisty. Tired, huh, boy? Yeah, huh, Ahmed? Working hard. So after all that, these two boys, those brothers, still gonna just go take a drink together. Even though Ahmed just bested bar talk, they're still buddies. Uh, we got roadblock. Hey girl. You're in the way. Yeah. All right, we're about done. The pasture looks so much better. 
and it's time to head out. And this was the gate we were concerned about, but I don't think we're gonna have any problem. So let's just watch it go through. Again, any of the dry stuff kind of doesn't break up, but there's still plenty that's not all the way dry. So I feel like this thing works awesome. For the most part, I went around the pasture as much as I could to get all the different spots. Sometimes I was influenced by buffalo and other times natural, just crevices and canyons and just my turning radius is only so tight. So we got all that done, but I think if you can see, it looks just a lot better. Now, this is pasture seven and pasture seven was just as bad. I did not go over it with a tool like this. And what happens is, is over time it will decompose, it will kind of go back down into the soil. Um, the problem is that all these worms just sit and breed inside this stuff and uh, they can repopulate and just kind of explode, right? In other words, they're numbers. So I like to come by and just give them a good kick every once in a while, but whatever, this is faster. So this is all in an effort to, one, help spread out the manure and try and get it over the land so when it rains, which should be in a couple of days, it kind of goes into the soil quicker and also more evenly dispersed about. But it also then helps that the sun comes in and cakes all and bakes all these worms and they don't spread. Yeah, so we're just gonna put this tool away and let Steve kind of have back at it. We probably won't need it for a while, but I do need to go and find my own and kind of make one up. Stick around for the surprise. This is something that's going on that if you're smart like Debbie and read the comments from the last video, you probably already know. But anyway, we're gonna show it to you. Let's see if we can get this in there. Much the same way as last time, guys. Except this time, we've got friends. All right, guys, surprise time. So if you've been following the channel a couple episodes ago, you noticed that some of our goals were, we announced them, and we kind of mentioned that one of them was the house. So we are officially starting progress on the house, getting things going. I mentioned in a comment just a few days ago, last episode, that I have the foundation to work on. That is what has been starting here this day, today, this morning. So the crew came, they got the mini excavator out, they've gotten the uh, skid steer, mainly the skid steer cleared off all the asphalt, we're getting the foundation put in, and we're gonna extend the house that direction. So let me explain this, right? The 22 feet, this is a 40 wide by 30 deep, and we're gonna come over another 22 feet um, to there, stay 30. And then we're gonna come over, drop down the elevation change, match the garage for another about 12 and a half by 30. So what we're doing is we're adding a thousand square feet. This is gonna be full of bedrooms, office slash stuff like that, maybe office. We'll see, but we're just adding another thousand square feet. So we're doubling the size of that. It's gonna be still just a couple bathrooms. We're not going extravagant. We're not going super crazy, but then this will actually be the garage. This will be connected through a doorway and there'll be a hall up and in and we can then come in park carry our groceries like every other suburban parent and go in the house so this is the idea this is what we're trying to do we'll probably blow this back out extend it out do a new header make it a garage there is other space over here about another 20 feet um not sure what i'm going to do with that it may stay just a room like that maybe just I don't know, workshop, tools, whatever else, who knows. But anyway, this has begun. Now, I will tell you that there's a part of me that doesn't wanna share any of this stuff, okay? I don't like the government knowing my business. I don't like people knowing my business necessarily when they're gonna tax me financially for it. So if you wanna see some of this, you gotta let me know, speak up forever, hold your peace. The second part of it is, I don't think I'm gonna do any dedicated videos to it. I might give some updates here and there. Um, I don't know that I wanna do a playlist for it. Honestly, I just don't know. So give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Um, once we get the concrete done, it should hopefully be done this week. And then we can start doing framing. And I'll be honest, framing is not gonna happen the next week, okay? It might still be a month, something along those lines. But we're gonna get it all planned in the works and going. That's the surprise, guys. Stick with us. Remember to let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about seeing the house 
and all of its developments. And um, <clears throat> we'll go from there. Poo looks good. It's all spread out. We killed all those little wormies. And uh, just to let you know, next episode probably will be working the buffalo. One of these next two. So it's coming up real close. We're going to send all these guys through and get them going. So we'll catch you guys next, later, next time on Black Acre Ranch. Like and subscribe. We'll see you then. Bye. Oh, yeah.